Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kennedy and today I'll be showing you how to install a theme on Sublime Text 2. Uh, the theme that we'll be talking about today is the Soda theme by Buy by, by, by Mia Soda. Um, I think the guy's name is Ian Hill. Um, so the Soda theme looks uh, looks very similar to the, just the default theme, but there's a lot of little details uh, that you'll notice over time. Um, and he has two UIs for it. He has a light version and he also has a dark version. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the dark version. Uh, let's get straight into it. So the installation, there's three ways to install it. Uh, by the Sublime Package Control, Git, or manually. Uh, let's try the Sublime Package Control first. Alright, so let's just open this up here. Install. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to copy this here. And then we're going to want to paste this in the Sublime Text 2 console. And you can access it by the Control uh, plus backtick. Um, so let's get started on that. Uh, so let's paste that in there. And now we restart this, as it says. All right. And then uh, next, you should, it says you should easily install the Soda theme by the Package Control Install Package menu item, and then uh, Theme Soda. So let's do this part and then this part. All right. So oh, I guess we should restart Sublime Text here. All right, so uh, preferences, package control, uh, install packages, and then uh, themes, soda. Hmm. All right, so I just installed uh, the theme probably about 30 minutes ago, an hour ago, and then I deleted everything so I could uh, show you guys how to install it. So I must have deleted too much or not enough. So let's just do it the manual way. Um, so it says download the, the files using git. Um, uh, GitHub zip, so let's do that first. All right, and then it wants us to rename uh, the file to theme soda. All right, and then it says copy the folder and supply text to package directory. All right, so let's open up our directory here. All right, and let's paste this in here. Hmm. <laughs> So it must have worked, it just didn't show up. That's kind of strange, but uh, we'll blindly replace this. And let's see if it'll work here. All right, what was the next instructions? Uh, all right, so is it in there now? Let's give that back tick a shot here. Oop, just kidding. Let's give the, uh, let's actually restart this just to be safe since we paste that in there. And then let's try this way again. Uh, install and then theme. Oh, okay, so there it is. Um, so it looks like it's installed. It's uh, installed successfully here. All right, so let's go back to instructions. Um, all right, so activating the theme. So open the user uh, settings preferences, Sublime Text 2 preference settings users, uh, preference users. Okay. Uh, add or update the theme entry or okay so we want to take this here so this is for the light and this is for the dark so let's copy this here and then we're gonna do a comma enter we should be able to save that all right and then uh, sweet so it should work um, so it talks about the tabs uh, retina UI all right, let's give that a shot. Maybe, uh, oh, you, see, you can see a little bit of worked over here. Maybe we'll restart this here. All right, so we can see it's a little bit different, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, let's open up something that's not this. Uh, so like the colors, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit different, but there's just a lot of little details you'll notice over time. Uh, there's a couple of little things. You can do the highlight color scheme. So, so let's do one of those here. So let's uh, download this. And then uh, so th and then uh, unzip and extract. Uh, all right, so let's all right, unzip and place and extract it in the themes file and so package users. So browse package. Uh, users. All right, so I think we're just going to paste those right in here. All right, 
So now let's take a look at this and it says to enable it preference color scheme users. So let's go to here. So preference color schemes users. Oh here we go. So I think one of this is the light one. And then the other one's a dark one. Alright, there we go. And uh, that's basically how uh, you install it. And there's also uh, some other things you can look at. But um, yeah, I recommend uh, you know starring this or watching this uh, and see where it goes. Um, and so it's a pretty simple, and I think you'll uh, really like it over time. Uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, feel, please feel free to ask or, and let me know. Um, talk to you soon. Thanks.